Let me teach you how to download and install Fabric and Fabric Mods for Minecraft 1.21. Let's go ahead and get started. Now guys, the first step to download and install Fabric is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Fabric. Once you're over here, feel free to read through the guide, but if you just want to follow along, head over to step one and click Download Fabric Loader here. Now redirect you over here, where you're going to click Download Universal Jar, and the download for Fabric will begin immediately. And while Fabric is downloading, here's a message from our sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, either a Java or a Bedrock server, a server where you could add mod packs or mods like for example fabric mods if you want to make a fabric server then apex hosting is the perfect service for you they will give you 25 percent off if you hurry up and use the first link in the description their servers are hosted online so you don't have to worry about port forwarding your ip address and something that i personally love about apex hosting besides them having locations all around the world is that you could control the server console and create the server using your phone meaning that you don't have to be at home to control your server you could kick people out change the settings whatever you want to do using your phone anyways i'm going to leave that first link in the description get 25 percent off with apex hosting and now let's keep going with the tutorial now as you can see fabric already downloaded let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop this is the fabric installer but most mods for fabric are gonna need you to have the fabric api if you have installed fabric in the past you already know you're most likely gonna need the fabric api so let's go ahead and download that fabric api by clicking the third link in the description and scrolling down and on step one we're gonna go ahead and download fabric api here that is gonna bring you over here let's scroll down find the 1.21 version of fabric click on this little three arrows and click download file and the download will begin after five seconds once you downloaded this file we're also going to go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop just like we did with the fabric installer now with the fabric api in our desktop as well as the fabric installer it's almost time to begin the first thing you want to do is close your minecraft game which mine is open right now as well as your minecraft launcher with the minecraft launcher and the game already closed also you have to make sure that you have played minecraft 1.21 at least once in your computer to create an instance for it we can start with the installation select your fabric installer right click on it click open with and select java now if you don't have java to open your fabric installer or if when you try to open the fabric installer with java it doesn't open Open, that is because you need java 21 so i'm gonna actually leave this guide in the description in case you need to install java 21 i'm no, i'm not talking about minecraft java i'm talking about java as the programming language that will allow you to open this type of files like the fabric installer installing java 21 is super simple you just download the software click next a couple of times and you'll have it installed and then you could get rid of the installer i'm gonna leave this guide in the description probably gonna be the fourth link and after you install java 21 you'll be able to open the fabric installer once over here just select 1.21 and click install now, if you have any older Java's in your computer, like Java 17 or Java 8, you might have compatibility issues after you install Java 21. So I do recommend that you head over to auto remove programs in here and get rid of your older Java's. If you ever need to install a newer Java, you could just head over to our websites and search for whatever version of Java you need. Anyways, once Fabric already installed, let's go ahead and close the installer and delete the Fabric installer as well. Now, all we have left is the Fabric API. In this moment, I also want you to go ahead and grab any mod that you want to add to your Fabric installer and have it at hand, have it somewhere that you know where they are because you're gonna need them in the next step. What you wanna do now is launch your Minecraft launcher. And once we open the Minecraft launcher, if we install Fabric properly, we'll see it selected here automatically. And now to add the mods and to add the Fabric API, we're gonna head over to installations. Make sure you have modded selected because without modded, you won't see the Fabric loader in here. If you don't see Fabric loader after you click modded, just click on new installation and look for Fabric here on the version. So mine is right here, the third option, and then name this whatever you want. Like for example, Apex Housing. Of course, you could give it whatever name and then go ahead and click create down here on the bottom right and that'll create an instance of fabric anyways once you locate a fabric in here hover over it and click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button and that is going to open a folder with a lot of files however in this folder we're just looking for another folder called mods m-o-d-s and i'm actually gonna go ahead and make this bigger so you guys could see there we go mod is right here this folder that's what we're looking for if you don't have the mods folder and i went ahead and deleted mine all you have to do is just right click and click new folder and name this folder mods m-o-d-s so yeah you could create the mods folder yourself go ahead and open that folder app and in here is where you're going to add your fabric api and any other mods that you want to use like for example i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the fabric api 1.21 and i'm also going to add some mods so i could try out fabric i'm actually going to add the biomes of plenty mod if you want to use the same mod as me to try out your fabric game i'm going to leave this link in the description you just come over here to files and download the 1.21 fabric version and also you download the needed uh, libraries of mod here on the description you just read through it it's pretty simple you just need glitch core and terra blender and that's it and then you're gonna add those into this folder once you added all the mods that you want into this fabric folder always make sure they are 1.21 and that they are fabric mod loaders mods okay so if you add a forge mod into here it won't work you need to add the fabric ones okay once you did that go ahead and close this folder head back into your launcher and go ahead and open your fabric loader game when you click on play on it you might have to 
click a little prompt in here saying that you understand the race coupling mod in Minecraft. And as you can see, the game already opened and we know that we're in Fabric because it literally says Fabric down here, but I'm still gonna go ahead and launch a world just so I could see if Biomes of Plenty, which is the mod that I added, is working. If you added any mod, this is your moment to test it. Some mods will work on multiplayer, some mods won't work in multiplayer because some mods would require you to add the mods into the server folder and you're only gonna be able to do that if you own the server. So if you wanna own your own server, use that first link in the description to create a server with Apex Hosting, 25% off. Anyways, as you can see, Biomes of Plenty, it's working perfectly here in Fabric 1.21. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to download and install Fabric 1.21. If this video was useful, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.